in this presentation i am going to release the trend report for the coming week so last week also we have released the trend report on the 14th of june and then also i have given follow up of this report how that report has worked so regarding that also i have released two videos so if you are a regular visitor of our website and if you are visitor of my youtube channel you could have seen that the day one how it has performed that also i have given and the day two and the day three how this trend report has performed that also i have explained it so if you just have a common view on those reports that two videos explains well what are the levels we have achieved during this past 3 days of the week and if you just have a look on those weekly levels that how much we have uh, penetrated this levels or how much we have achieved during the week so you will get a clear clear view on this so the week starting from the 17th to 21st so we have given the report for the 17th to 21st so for this particular week for this particular week so it has nifty made a low of 11630 and if you just compare between this highs of this particular week so 11863 was the weekly high and these are the closings are mentioned here so if i compare this values with my calculation so this was the last what one target calculated 11635 for the week it has gone to 11630 and 860 863.35 was the weekly high and this is also very close to our uptrend confirmation point however it has not given a breakout so downtrend you have achieved the fourth target fourth target according to this calculation so this was the performance of the last week so let us move to the coming week the coming week which is the settlement week or the expiry week so 27th june we have the expiry we have monday tuesday wednesday and thursday four trading days available with us so during this coming four days period what is the levels we are expecting from the nifty so i have just taken the view of the real time volatility what is in impacted in the nifty and what is the future value last traded price of the future i have taken the square root of 7 so we have devised that 176 points of movement we can expect in the nifty future in the coming week which is starting from 24th ending on 27th june expiry date so it gives above 11796 we have the targets of 821 842 863 and till 12039 same way if it is falling below 11713 it has all probability to go till 11470 so this is the calculations we have expected as per volatility 176 point of movement we have used the fibonacci ratios we got the price ranges and that price ranges once it is being added to the last traded price of nifty future or subtracted from last traded price of the nifty future we got these levels so how to work on this level so this is very important so here if it is crossing 11796 on monday or some point in the week we must buy the future along with a 11800 put option so hedging is a best practice so it depend upon those traders those who have accepted this concept of hedging they are highly get rewarded and once you buy it here your first target i am putting it as 11863 and your second target is 11893 and and third target is 11911 and this is time we are achieving one one target we need to trail our stop loss we need to trail our stop loss so coming to the downtrend so if the nifty 
goes below 11,713, we must sell it along with one 11,700 call option. So weekly options we have and the targets are 11,646, 616, 11,616, 11,598 and so on. So once you purchase here as per the Fibonic principle, so we need to put a stop loss. So here if I am purchasing at 11,796, as per the Fibonic principle, I must put a stop loss at 11,687. Same way, if I am selling here at 11,713, I must put a stop loss at 11,822. So this is how I should utilize my stop loss. So Fibonic says 0.236 retracement above, your trend is getting set. 0.382 retracement below, your trend is getting confirmed. So when the completely trend changes from positive to negative, that time only we need to quit the trade and come out. So since there is a depth here, depth here near to 105 point or 106 point, so we are buy entry to sell entry, there is a depth of 106 point. To manage this 106 point of stop loss, we are hedging it with the options. So this is, this is the process we are following to enter this trade. So coming to the bank nifty, we too have calculated the same way. However, I am just advising the bank nifty to enter a trend confirmation point. Means if the nif bank nifty crosses 30,833, you should buy and appropriate put option, 30,800 put option you should take. And if it is falling below 30,486, you must sell along with one 30,500 call option. So this is what we are doing. So keep following this report. You have seen that last week's report. Keep following this particular report and from 24th to 27th and if you are convinced with this particular calculation, do purchase this one standard deviation software which will be a great help for you to do intraday and positional trade also in the option trades. So this is a great tool which can help you for your decision process. So keep following this report and if you like this video, please give a like and share with your friends. If you like this analysis, share with your friends. And if you want to download this report, please visit our site smartfinancing.com and just visit the download link and download link. You will get this the first box which is showing download Nifty Bank Nifty weekly trend report. So here the download button is being given on hitting this, you can able to download this report. Earlier reports also you can able to download from here. So keep following this particular report, observe at least on days high, days low, days close basis, what, has, what is our calculation point and what, what is happening in the market so that you can have, able to develop a trust on this particular pattern. So keep following this report and give your feedback. Thank you. Thank you for your time.